I'm in this weird room, and today we're going to talk about some Christmas movie facts that you probably don't know. The movie, It's a Wonderful Life, was actually mentioned in an FBI file in 1947. An analyst believed that the film discredited Banks, which was, quote, a common trick used by communists. The movie Babes in Toyland is considered one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time. I've actually never seen it, but I hear it's great. But did you know that it was a huge financial flop when it hit theaters? In the movie A Christmas Story, Ralphie says that he wants a Red Ryder BB gun 28 times throughout the movie. It's kind of needy, kid. Sticking with that movie, did you know that Jack Nicholson was really interested in playing Ralphie's dad in the movie? But backed out because it was too much money for them to cast him. That's greedy. I had more faith in Jack. Moving on to my favorite Christmas movie, A Christmas Vacation, there's a scene where there are two grandpas sleeping in the living room watching the Macy's Day Parade. And allegedly, those two actors are actually sleeping right there, but I'm not sure I buy that. The movie Elf is iconic for Will Ferrell's insane comedic timing, but did you know that Jim Carrey was reportedly going to be playing Buddy the Elf? In the beginning of Elf, we are introduced to Ming Ming the Elf. That elf is actually played by Peter Billingsley, who famously played Ralphie in A Christmas Story. In the movie Home Alone, Joe Pesci left Macaulay Culkin with a scar on his finger after biting the kid just a little bit too hard. In the movie The Polar Express, the conductor calls out 11344 Edbrook. Nobody has any idea what that is, except for the director and probably Tom Hanks because he said it. That address is actually Robert Zemeckis' childhood home in Chicago. Do you know the movie Bad Santa? Obviously you do. It's the raunchiest Christmas movie of all time. But, allegedly, Bill Murray was going to play the main character in that film. To continue this idea that Bad Santa is a terrible human being, in the Czech Republic, Bad Santa is actually called Santa is a pervert. Because he f***s chicks in cars. Santa doesn't do that. And finally, in the movie The Santa Claus, there are hidden elves throughout the film trying to keep an eye on Scott Calvin. But that's going to be it for today's video. I want you to tell me what your favorite Christmas movie is, and let me know in the comments below. I also want you to let me know what you want for Christmas this year. Did that buffering piss you off? Obviously it was intentional, and it's to show you what the internet could be like if there was no net neutrality. If you don't know what the removal of net neutrality is, it is the censorship of the internet and it directly affects everyone. Removing net neutrality allows big corporations like Comcast, Spectrum, AT&T, and Verizon to limit what you see on the internet. They can slow your internet pages down, or it could lump those websites into a costly package that you would have to pay each month. Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, and Spectrum all have something in common, but I just can't put my finger on it. In its simplest terms, removing net neutrality censors your right for freedom of information and freedom of speech. 80% of Americans disagree with the repeal of net neutrality. That's not democracy. If you go against the will of the people, that's tyranny. But you can fight back, and here's how. You can write Congress by visiting battlefortheNet.com. You can also contact Ajit Pai, who is the FCC chairman, through his Twitter and through his email, which are provided here and here. You can also text the FCC by sending a text here. Here is the FCC office address, and here is the phone number where you can call the FCC itself. So, if you are for net neutrality, visit the links provided in the description below, and let's fight back. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of Call This Culture. If you like the video, click on the left for the most recent upload and click on the right for a similar video. Don't forget to like the video before leaving to watch a more popular YouTuber.
To support the channel, all you have to do is click on that little circular channel icon. The one right there in the center. I know you see it. Put that finger muscle to good use and click on subscribe.